uh, I'll be making a series for animation in React Native. This is the first animation series, first part of the animation, or first part of the series, sorry. And uh, in this first part, you will learn most basic animation like opacity or how to fade in, fade out things. And we'll be doing on the on click button. So the end result would be like this. You'll have a button where you press on the button and the animation will show up slowly. On the other hand, the opacity will change from zero to one, just like this. So let's get started and do it. Okay. So I have a code snippet here to generate a basic function code quickly. If you want this code in VS code, so just let me know, I'll put it in the comment section of the video. All right, so we created a default container and we save it, nothing happens because there is nothing to happen. Now we'll give it some property, flex equal one and justify content center and uh, align items center. Okay, cool. All right, so we use this property to put everything in the center of the screen. The flex one in default occupies the whole screen and after that if you have these two properties everything would be fixed in the center of the screen save it and still nothing happens because nothing is supposed to happen all right now let's create our button first well i'll be creating a custom button because i don't like the default button and to do that i'll use the touchable opacity of react native touchable opacity make sure it's imported yes it is imported and uh, here we go. All right, and uh, I'll give it some style. Style equal styles dot uh, button. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's give it some properties. Button. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so this will have a view like view like say I'll give it a background color. Say four e c d c four like this, and it'll have a width like say one hundred. I'll give it a border radius say fifteen. I'll give it a padding say fifteen and margin uh, maybe five. And uh, what else you can give it to? I think that's it. So now let's save it and see how it looks like. All right, here we go. Very good. So we have a pretty cool button. But of course, I need to show a text here to do that. I'll create a text component here and I'll give it a style, style equal uh, styles dot text. Okay, now let's create our text object properties. So it'll have font size 18, font family, Evanor and font weight i'll give it 600 and the color i'll give it say white and uh, now we so the name of the text is press all right let's make sure text component is imported but it is not so i'll write it manually over here all right cool so now save it. So text is here, but I want to center it in the middle of the button, middle of this view here, touchable view. So to do that, just right here, text align. Oh, I think I'm missing a comma here. That's why it's not showing up. Text align center. Okay, cool. Now it should be in the center of the view. So, so far we created this touchable opacity view and this would work as our button so button has a property called on press so let's uh, give it a property on press and call a function so i'll call the function called handle press of course this function doesn't exist so i'll create a function called handle press const handle press Okay, and I'll just log something on the terminal, tapped, and I'll save it. So let's make sure our button is working right now. Okay, so let's tap on it and we see it tap. So it means our button, our custom button is working pretty good. Okay, so now we want, we want something to happen. We want when we click on the button, 
something to show up slowly using fade property of this animation. Okay, so let's create another view to show up once on the click, click happens. All right, so I'll, I'll, and then I'll declare another view component here and I'll give it a property. So style properties, styles dot uh, anim, 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 I think that sounds good. All right, okay. So I'll give it properties to this anim object. Okay, so how do I want it? Of course, I want it to have a background first. So background color, I'll give it a tomato. And then I want to have it a width, say width is uh, 200. Then what else we can give it to? We can give it to padding, say 15. And what else do we want? Uh, yeah, border radius, so that it looks cool, 15. All right, so now we have this anim view, but of course the view is empty, nothing is there. So let's see everything is imported correctly. Anim, anim. Okay, we're good. Now let's save it. All right, so we have an error. Background color tomato. I made a mistake, sorry. Okay, cool. All right, so it looks a bit weird. So I'll give it a. Uh, well, let's put a text there first. Okay, so I'll call it fade view. And it will have the style properties. So just now we created that styles the text. Okay, here we go. It looks much better. Okay, so what do we want now? We want if we press the button, the view would show up. So initially the view would be hidden. That means the opacity is zero. So once we click on the button, it would show up slowly. Well, to do that, we need to import the animated component from React Native. Okay. So, but, well, we can do another thing though, like this view, we can give it an animation opacity property and let's see what happens. Opacity zero is gone. Opacity zero point five, it's half gray, half tomato. And opacity one, it's completely visible. Okay, so we want to deal with this opacity property of this view, all right. But as we want to do animation, we can't really do it here we have to do it within the animation component. So let's write here animated, animated, here we go. It has some objects, we'll be calling view object. It's down there, okay, cool. Make sure that animated is imported, very cool. So we want to move this code within this view component because this is the code we want to animate or on the other way to say, this is the view we want to animate, and this view lies within this code. So now we'll be handling with this, we'll be animating this one. So if you want to animate something in React Native, you should wrap it around with animated.view object or image object. Actually, there are a few properties though, but in this case, we are using view uh, 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 property or object, you can say. All right. Now, I'll create a style here, style equal, uh, style equal opacity of zero. Okay, let's give it opacity zero and let's see what happens. Okay, you say it's gone. Give it 0 0.5, it's half visible, and one, it's completely visible. So now we need to find a way to deal with this. Of course, we can't change it manually. We need to change it as the program runs slowly or dynamically. To do that, I'll have to create a variable. So we will save this opacity value in a variable. So let's declare this one. Const fade anim. I'll use a hook here to do that. Use wrap. And I'll create an object animated the value and the default value is zero and the current status is zero too. All right, so I declared this variable here. That means that, hey, give me a, an object or variable which will have a zero value or the current value is zero. That's how you understand it, okay? 
So now currently it is zero. So, well, just now I told you that we need to play dynamically. And that's why we declared this variable. So let's change that. Fade anim. Okay, all right, now let's save it and see what happens. It's gone. So it means this variable is taking effect. Now let's do it uh, once. Uh, I think we have to restart it. Okay, it is there. All right. Okay. So now we need to find a way to animate this value, or the other way to say we need to find a way to change this fade anim value from zero to one because definitely we want to start with zero, and at the end of the animation it would be one. At that time, this view would be completely visible. So how to do that? Okay, a React Native has animated. I told you this component and this component exports a function, it's called timing, let's call it, animated the timing, timing, all right. So now it takes some default properties, two properties, the first one is the value that you want to animate. In our case, this is a fed anim. So fed anim is again directly connected with opacity. So let's pass the variable here, fed anim, and the next uh, parameter tells this timing function, how to do the animation. So it tells it that, okay, let's, you start whatever value you want and finish it somewhere. In this case, because we are dealing with opacity, we have to finish it in one. And then we tell the React Native how long it should take. It should take 2,000 milliseconds, or it could be any, any milliseconds. It depends on you, all right? Okay, let me put them together. Okay, and once that is done, we need to start the animation. That's how we call it. So let me tell you again, once again, what is happening. So this is opposite, right? Fade, fade equals zero at the beginning. And then we passed this value to the timing function. And the timing function, this take value, and over the 2000 milliseconds, it will change the value slowly from zero to one, from zero to one. And when it reaches one, the animation will be stopped. And that's it with the animation. Okay, so now let's see everything I typed correctly. Okay, everything is good. Now I'll save it. Okay, of course nothing happens. We need to reload it. Let's reload it. Okay, here we go. Let's click on the button. Yes, it's working. But here we have a warning, use native driver. So it's asking you to use native driver component and we can do it. So in this case, animation will be much smoother on hardware, real device, okay. Now let's reload one more time and see what happens. Press the button, animation slows up slowly. All right, I want it to have five milliseconds and uh, let's reload again. I, I mean, sorry, uh, 5,000 milliseconds. I think uh, I have to reload one more time. And reload one more time. Like it over the five seconds slowly it showed up. That's it. This is the first animation we did. Again, once again, this is the button we created. Where is this one? And we create on press handler or on press function, which is this one. And when this function is called, our animation starts over here. And it takes some values. It takes the value you want to play with, animate with. So in our case, we are dealing with the opacity property of animation. We started with a zero value, value and we end up as we go to one. At the end of this animation, we change it to one slowly. And it takes 5,000 milliseconds and we are using native driver to have a smooth animation. All right. One thing you need to remember that your animated property should start with over here, start over here with animated the view. Not here. If you do that, it won't work. Okay. So whatever the code you want to animate with, you should put within animated.view. All right, guys. So if you like this video, if you learned something, you can give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. So hope to see you soon. Thank you so much.